All right, guys, today's video is going to be pretty short, but the main gist of it, I'm going to show you how I load my kayak on top of my Tundra. Um, I think it'd be very informational for some of you guys uh, that don't like straining to put your kayak on top of your roof, or maybe you want to put your kayak on top of your roof and you're not sure how to do it. So this is the workaround. Um, I watched a guy on another video. I'll put a link to his right down here below uh, where he used a hand crank, uh, but I kind of modified his a little bit to use a winch. So it's super easy, doesn't cause any straining or anything like that. You can load it up pretty much on any size vehicle that you really needed to. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We also head out to Darbon Lake and I catch one fish. That's right, just one. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but uh, it wasn't a great day. So, but anyway, besides all that, we had a good time. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Check this out. Hi right, guys, snow is out. It's starting to warm up a little bit. It's kind of rainy, miserable looking out right now, but uh, we're gonna carry the kayak out. Got the new kayak lift I wanna show you guys. We got it in full action right here with the winch and the Hobie. We got everything set up, so I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Basically, I haven't done it straight from the ground yet. We're gonna hit in. We turn on our winch. Here we go. Just like that right there. One, two, three. Got the wrong rope attached. We got the winch now. We changed our rope length right here. So right there, we're gonna grab onto the end of the kayak. We're just gonna guide her up. Boom, boom, boom. All right, fellas, we got it loaded up. I'm gonna show you real quick a little bit what I have going on on the sets. I just showed you that part. <clears throat> I've got a uh, piece of PVC pipe right here with a uh, with a bar. I'm gonna end up replacing that metal bar right there with a uh, probably a wood dowel. And I just have it tied off. You see right here. <clears throat> and on the other side, let's find it up here. Oy. I've got a piece of wood right here that's tied off and I've got the uh, wireless winch. So you gotta have this receiver. You could probably wire that down into your truck somehow uh, just by extending these wires. But it's kind of where I've got that right now. And I just have this uh, tow rope right here that's uh, pulling up the kayak. So, and of course the PVC pipe that you saw, let's see here, right here. And uh, the guy's video online that I kind of went through and kind of templated this after, he used inch and a half. Uh, I used two inch and I still felt like it was pretty tough to get on and off by melting that PVC pipe. Right down there on the end and kind of forming it to these, uh, to these rail racks. So if you had the little small tubes or something like that, you could still rig it up. You probably need some smaller PVC pipe maybe or uh, some couplings or something like that on it. So that's my setup. So we're about to uh, head up to the lake, get some fishing in, hopefully we'll catch some fish. See you guys soon. All right guys, just got up here to the lake. As you see, uh, it is foggy. It's not raining right now. Rain's uh, hopefully moving out. So we're gonna get everything um, unloaded, uh, get it ready. It is, I say it's not raining. It is kind of drizzling right now. But um, Crappie Masters is actually having their uh, tournament up here on the lake uh, right now. I think I see a boat right out here that may be in the tournament. So uh, I think there's 100, maybe a little more boats out in it. So maybe a busy day on the water, but I'm going to kind of stay kind of in this area right here. See right now, uh, there's not a lot of boats in here. There's not a lot of wind today, so the lake is pretty glassy. So people will probably spread out pretty good because you can pretty much fish anywhere you want. So. But anyway, we're gonna get the uh, kayak unloaded and we're gonna get in the water.
deal. I don't know if y'all have seen my uh, marine math that I got put in, but y'all check this out right here. Had a uh, custom logo put in right there. This is the green. Kind of with a charcoal feel underneath it, so. Super nice. Gives the boat a totally different uh, feel, so. That's that. I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna get all this loaded up, finished up, and we're gonna get in the water. <coughs> all right, fellas. We are hooked up. We're live. Live, but you know what I mean. We're ready to roll. We are ready. Lake Darbone. Here we come. Fish of the day, a little large mouth. <laughs> he hit it twice while I was down there. Look at him, beautiful, beautiful fish. Hey, we're not skunked, that's for sure. All right, fellas, so well, that's a wrap. Today was not a very good day for me. I caught that one little bass, and that was it. But uh, the main objective today was to get out, just get on the water, have a good time, get out and enjoy it, and also show you guys the, uh, the new kayak lift. So it did awesome. Um, one thing that I guess I could say is that it is a winch, so just know that whenever you're winding it up, uh, that you're paying attention to the spool, uh, making sure that it doesn't like hop over off the spool. So whenever I was loading it up at the lake, had one little problem with the spool actually hopped over, but I was able to fix that pretty quick. So if you ever worked on a winch or worked with a winch, you know that you know you've got to guide it right and left sometimes just to make sure that everything stays in line and stays in order. So outside of that, everything was great. Heading to the house now. Um, stop and give me a coffee and unload. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down here below. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry I didn't catch any more fish, but it is what it is. I'm going to put some links to some other videos down below if you want to see some fish catching. Hey, y'all have a good one.